Oh no, not yet, not yet. Okay, so all right, we're live. Oh, not yet. <laughs> Sorry, excited. Okay, so hello everybody and welcome to today's live stream delivered to us by our friends at WHERE. What's WHERE again? World English Reviews. Today we're going to be graced by the presence of Mr. Lee. He's our he's our uh, friend from he's our friend from Pampanga. And mm -hmm. should I leave any should I should I introduce you myself or I'll yeah sure the, uh, introductions to you. Ang haba no ano mo eh. Ang haba no intro intro mo eh. Meron ka pa yung self tip self tip eh. <laughs> ah, oh, okay oh. lang yun. Sige, oh, oh. ako nang bahala dyan. Sige, ako nang bahala dyan. Yeah. All right. Okay, so today's topic is about reading, effective reading strategies, okay? And basically, I'll leave you the floor to explain more, all right? Okay, okay. Uh, dahil naka-perfect ako sa IELTS ng ilang beses na, magtatagalog ako. <laughs> <laughs> May karapatan na ako. So good evening to all of you guys. Maya pa ba ni Kaya Kayuan. Uh, magandang gabi sa inyo na. Magandang... Uh, Ano ba ba yung alam ba? Yan lang alam ko. Uh, Bonsoir. <laughs> okay. Bonsoir uh, Tolemon. Okay, yan. French tayo. So, <laughs> you don't see that often because I'm a lazy person. But <laughs> I'm the regular guest of IFNG. My name is Lee Jesus. Okay, so I hope to make this as enjoyable and active. Okay, as a second. Guten Tag. Okay. Okay, may mga Germans na dito. Okay? Uh, ba yung ano ko? I-represent ko sa inyo. Okay, so here's... Uh, let's do this officially. Alright? Mm -hmm. PowerPoint open. There you go. Welcome, welcome to our free yes lecture. Uh, I'm World English. Okay, and today... Oh! What is this one? No, this is the wrong presentation. Wait lang po. <laughs> Wait, this is... Uh, oh, this is the 30. Okay, sorry. I opened Okay, so ano po ba yung gagawin na? What are we uh, uh, gonna do tonight? Okay, tuturuan ko po kayo ng strategies for... Okay, the reading test. Okay, yun po yung gagawin na ito. As I told you, um, I've taken the test several times of three and more times unofficially. Okay, um, I didn't always get the perfect score. Um, my first test was in 2006. I only got uh, the score ko na. I think it was 8.5. Okay, and then 2012, uh, got 9. 2019, 9, and then uh, last year, 2021, 20, I also got a 9. Um, yeah, a lot of people say, wow, it's amazing. Pero sa totoo na, I don't think it's impossible. It's that hard. Because, honestly, I'm not the only one who's, who's other people have, uh, you know, has, have achieved this too. It's a matter of you know, familiarity and maybe, know, of course, knowing uh, what, you should, uh, you know, what you should be looking for. Okay, so I'm going to do that for all of you tonight. So please, suns ko lang po ay huwag kayong mahihiya. Okay? Ask your questions na. Habang libre, uh, I can read minds. Uh, if, I, if, I if I forget something, of course, uh, you, you need to remind me. Um, if I said something that's unclear, uh, just tell me. No, I'm, I'm willing to explain. Let's make this uh, less formal. I don't like, I've never liked formal education. Honestly, okay. So, yes, today's topic: uh, effective reading strategy. Okay, and uh, oops. Okay, rules of conduct. Just ask me your questions. Turn on microphones or uh, type your questions in the chat box. Kaipa, no, sige, go ahead. Okay, here's a short introduction. Uh, my name is Lee Jesus. I'm Filipino. I did teaching in 2005. So, bagong bago po ako. Sariwang sariwa. Okay, halos wala pa akong experience. 2005 ako nagsimula. <laughs> I think I'm one of the oldest uh, examiners. Uh, examiners, uh, sorry. Uh, I am reviewers. Mm -hmm. so that's 
by the by the parents. And not in terms of age, I'm only 40, but in terms of the length of experience because I've been teaching for almost 16 years now. Child. Then studied OET, oh, fresh na fresh lang. Okay, uh, I teach English. Um, I passed my service test. I had to take it because unlike you, wala akong board exam. Okay, and buti pa kayo, uh, when you pass your boards, automatic, no? your service eligible. I had to test, although I really study for it. My brother and I studied like the day before. Okay, ah, luckily naman po, we took on the first try, basic knowledge. I also teach, okay, uh, in call centers. Well, I've done it a few times, usually during ramping. Okay, so for service English din po. And I really, um, integrate that, you know, into my techniques eh, when I teach the speaking this. Because eh, if you just use the principles of good cost service, applicable in the city, it's applicable in the IELTS. Okay, I've gotten that several times, okay, which is really, should be a requirement for people in the IELTS. Uh, you don't want a teacher who's gotten 7 lang, diba? or 7.5 lang. That's enough for you guys, but for somebody teaching it, at least man lang, it's uh, so my first advice to you tonight is you should be selective. Okay, when you choose your teachers, when you choose your review centers, wag niyo iba sa presyo. Ika nga iba, you want some, you pay it cheap and you get something cheap. Okay, nakikimura kayo, mapapamura kayo pag hindi ba tinuyo-tuyo. Okay, kung medyo mahal yung siya, baka mapamahal din siya sa test. Papas kayo sa test. I have a Cambridge CELTA qualification. Uh, there are few... There are only a few of us have this in the Philips well because it's uh, the most expensive diesel course in the world. And it's very hard, actually. Uh, I only know one other review center na merong self-teachers nila. Okay? Salam. Well, I know all of them, you know. These are the people that I encounter. Um, lastly, my favorite saying, my favorite, what, detail. I'm done, obviously. Actually, I have a lot of white hairs now. Okay? I, I don't have a British accent. <laughs> I don't have a British accent. But I still got nine speaking. Kahit na pangit ng boses ko. Yeah. Magasgas. It's possible, guys. Ano lang siya. As long as you know what you're doing. As long as you prepare properly. Okay? So, I'm gonna tell you all about meeting. Yes. Okay, medyo ano, ano, I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail because I think um, some of the attendees here, Terence, I've seen your names before in previous, you know, in previous uh, discussions, but I also see a lot of new names. So, kailangan siguro i-detalya natin ng po kung paano yung test. So, I'm going to backtrack. Uh, just, just a little. So, tingnan natin yung Tignan natin yung flow ng test. It's from another presentation. For, oops, for the newbies, okay, for the first timers among you, uh, you have on screen the flow of the test. Ito na po yun. Right? So, um, I'm assuming that uh, most of you will be taking the paper test. Na-curious tuloy ako. Guys, please type in the chat box. Are you taking... Paper based or computer based? So you just write uh, PBT, paper based test, on paper, on computer is CBT. Na na. PBT, PBT, CBT. Mm. So I have to explain both, no? Okay. I'm probably going to change the minds of some of you tonight. <laughs> okay. So. Um, if you're taking the paper-based test, it's really like 90% on a Saturday. Okay, tapos morning yung test. You have to be there by 8 in the morning. Sir, paano? 8.30 na ako dumating. Ah, totoo. Pwede pa naman yan. Sir, uh, quarter to 9 na. Actually, pwede pa. Pwede kayo 5 minutes before 9, pwede pa yan. However, do you think it's wise <laughs> to arrive at the venue like five minutes to nine or ten minutes. Of course, not naman. Grabe. Bakit? Una-una, may stress kayo. Pangalawa, 
may stress sa inyo yung invigilators. You don't want that. You don't want to make you know a bad impression of them because they they have some power over us. Okay. So guys, uh, okay, practice man lang 30 minutes. Although they will send you an email and they'll tell you to arrive one hour before. Why one hour? Because you have to do several things. First of all, pagdating nyo doon, this is what I suggest. You check the seat plan. Okay? Alamin nyo saan kayo po. Okay? Uh, just get a general idea. Left side of the room, right side of the room. Okay? If you're taking the paper based test, there will be like 100, 200 of you in the room. Okay? Kung naman ano lang kayo, uh, usually mga 6 to 10 people lang yan in the room. But check, okay, the seat plan. Para hindi po kayo mawala. After checking the seat plan, then you type up register kayo. They will check your report. Uh, ano to? Yung mga necessary COVID documents ninyo. Okay? Uh, usually, box card lang naman yan. And then they will ask you your name. They will, might ask you when your birthday and what is your module. You know, test questions po. Uh, then they will take a look at the picture on your passport and the signature to see if they match, you don't need to look exactly like your picture. Like, you know, requirement, uh, just for safety reasons. Okay. Uh, what else do you need to... Uh, hello to our 65 FP viewers. Oh, nice. That's a good number. Okay. So after that one, after registration, you deposit your belongings. Okay. You're not allowed to bring bags and wallets and pieces of paper inside the testing room. Okay, so you're gonna leave them with the invigilator. Don't worry, they will take care of your belongings. They will claim stuff. You'll be the only one who's able to claim those things, your bags. Okay, so okay, magalala, wala pa ako nabalita ang nawalan siya. Okay, after that, um, they will allow you to enter the testing room 10 minutes or 15 minutes before 9. They remind everyone to go to the toilet. Magbanyo na po kayo. Huwag kayo magbabanyo. <laughs> during the test itself. That's not smart. Okay, you do it before the test. You're not paying hundreds of dollars okay, just to go to the toilet. You're paying to pass your IELTS test. Hopefully on the first try. Guys, uh, one take? One take or maybe maximum twice, but you know, each take each take of the test. And then, uh, palaki ng palaki yung gasa, so hopefully you just take it once. All right, because I have encountered people before, students before, who've taken it three times, four times, five times, and it's just a big waste of money, if you ask me. Okay, not the kind of I, I hate it when my students fail. We're not the kind of review center, you know, who wants to make money by failing students and people. We want to make money, okay, by being what? By being suggested. Okay, by being recommended by former students. Yun po yung gusto natin. All right? So, they'll close the doors at 9. They're gonna, there's going to be a short um, orientation. Uh, 10 minutes lang yan. Uh, first test, listening. That's about 40 minutes. Test reading. That's an hour. And then the final test of the would be writing. Speaking, if you're taking the paper-based test, it's usually on another day. Day before, day after. It might be on the same day on a Saturday, but there's a you know there's a small chance that malamang ibang araw po kayo. Now, if you're taking the computer, uh, the computer delivered test, ibang usapan na yan. Everything will be finished, okay, in one day. Isang araw po tapos lahat. All right. So, um, if you have a morning schedule for listening, reading, writing your speaking will be in the afternoon, okay? If you choose <clears throat> the afternoon schedule, listening, reading, and writing, then your speaking will be the most. So computer delivered this, everything is done on day lang. So ayan po na, I'm telling you about the advantages and disadvantages of each. Okay, let's have a closer look at the reading test because this is, this is what you came here for, okay? Reading test, 60 minutes exactly. No extra time for transfer answers. Okay, why is that important? Because I know a couple of people who got zero in their reading test. You don't want to be one of them, right? Natural. Okay, so why do they get zero? They took the paper-based test. 
So they thought they had time to transfer their answers to the answer sheet. Because in the previous test listening, meron kasing 10 minutes to transfer. Okay, for reading, wala. You write your answers directly on answer sheet. All right? So yeah, they got zero, unfortunately. Yeah, it was a long time ago after that. I think we, I was just starting to teach it. After that, I started making sure that everyone knew. Okay, that everyone knew about it. So hopefully, po, wala pong magatagan sa Okay? So 60 minutes, no extra time. <clears throat> it's divided into three sections. Tanong po, meron po bang GP in the audience? Do we have general training candidates? If you can put it in the chat box. Because this is proof, I assume everyone's academic, no? Pero out of curiosity. Meron po ba? Oh, okay, there's one. Hmm. Why uh, Why did I ask if anyone's taking the general training test? Well, because I focus on the academic test. <laughs> because it's a nurse's group. Nurses take AC. Okay, because the test is different for AC and GP. Okay, what's the difference? Uh, the GP test, they use an easier level of English. Okay, uh, they don't... Uh, they also paraphrase, but the paraphrasing is easier. Also, they use topics that come from everyday life. You know, they might get readings from magazines or uh, posters or bulletin boards or a table of contents. It might be from a product a pamphlet, how to microwave, that's an example. Whereas, the test for Arab, of course, there's something that you'll see in the journal. No? Uh, it's, it's, it's about science. It's about what? Culture. Okay, iba ibang topics po. It's about animals, it's about plants and forests and engineering and literature. So academic and academic subjects po. Things you'll encounter in academic journals. And the level of English is higher. It's more formal kasi nga academic is. Okay? Um, now, regardless of whether you're taking AC or GT, there will be 40 items in total. However, the conversion is different, no? Um, <clears throat> the uh, general training test will require you to get a higher score just to get the same bad score. For instance, for you guys who are taking academic, if you get 30 out of 40, congratulations. Band 7. That's your target, right? Yay. However, if you're taking the GT exam, if you want Band 7, kailangan mo na 34. So you need four points higher. Why? Kasi nga, mas madali yung text. It's easier. So they have to adjust the conversion. And uh, don't say that it's unfair. <clears throat> Why? They started studying adults in 19, 1960s, early 1960s. It took them 20 years to develop the test. And every year they review it, they publish studies about it. So yeah, sir and fair, bakit ano, mas matas yung conversion table ng GT because inaral po nila yan. So you can make sure it has an academic basis. Uh, anyway, okay, regardless of whether you're taking GT or academic, and they perfect <laughs> para matas yung score din. No? By the way, one mistake is 8.5. Okay, one mistake is 8.5. Um, how long uh, are the texts? Sabi dito, uh, according to the official information sheet, it's 2,150 to 2,150. So sabi na nothing between 2,000 and 3,000. But what does that mean? It just means that it's a lot. Minimum on the would be 10 pages. Sometimes it's longer. Okay, But don't do worry because there's a consistency to it. They always have a pattern. Okay, And I will show you both. Computer, um, samples of computer delivered test and from the paper-based test para ready kayo for anything, okay? Um, I want to show you the answer sheet now. For those taking the paper-based test, ito po yung answer sheet ninyo. Okay, Naka-zoom out po ako. Hmm? So I have a close look at it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so this is uh, 9%, okay? The official answer sheet. Uh, pera yun, pera yung dun sa task na yun, wala dapat yan. Okay, but uh, this is the answer sheet that you're gonna be using. 
Now, I want to teach you everything about it. Okay? Meron na mga quotation, but you know what? Let's study whatever we can tonight. Maral natin, aralin na natin. Okay? So, how do you write your name for the test? Paano ba yung tamang pagsusulat ng pangalan? Ganito po siya. I'm gonna use my personal info, right? So, all caps. Okay? And then, your comma, your first name, and that's it. No need for the middle name, no need for the middle uh, for the middle initials. Okay? You pong cabinet number, it's six digits. Don't worry to print it on a piece of paper on your table. It's gonna be there. Okay, it usually starts with like a few zeros. Let's say zero 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 one two four. Yeah, and of course they should be spaced properly. Okay. Yeah, sample lang naman to. <laughs> Hindi sapto. All right. Center number usually starts with PH because we're in the Philippines. Okay. Uh, uh, either 001 or kaya 009. Yun po yung, ano, yun po yung common numbers nila. Okay. And of course, you're going to be doing this in pencil. Okay. Test module, you just uh, shade the appropriate, uh, or you tick, you put a check mark on the appropriate box. And then, pagdating po sa dates, okay, syempre, we're gonna use the, you know, the British system, uh, the Australian system. Una po yung araw. So, kunwari, uh, ano pa ngayon, 28, okay, 28, 5, and then year would be 20, 22. Yeah, parang ganyan. So, at least, okay, pwede nyo nang huwag silang pansin it because this is it, no? Ganyan din siya sa test. Ganyan na ganyan na po. No need to worry about anything else. Anyway, you can always erase because you're going to be using it. And then uh, you see here that it's divided into two columns. Okay? 1 to 20 and then 21 to 40. Okay? And then meron pa alternating na black and white colors uh, to help you distinguish uh, which numbers you're answering. If you notice at the bottom, Sabi marker 2 and marker 1 because two people will be just to be safe. Two people will be checking your answers to avoid any, you know, mistakes in checking or in grading. So, ayan po, ganyan yung itsura. Now, someone asked me earlier, oh guys, pwede na kayong magtanong ha, you can send me, uh, just send questions through the chat box. Remember, okay, all questions are valid. There are no stupid questions. Magtanong lang kayo. So earlier, before uh, we started the class, somebody asked me, Sir, pwede bang, ano, pwede bang caps lock? <laughs> so, wag caps lock, ang ibig sabihin nito, ano, all caps. Pwede po bang all caps? Yes. In the IELTS, hindi sila masayadan dyan. You can use all caps if you want. You can use small letters if you want. You, you can start with a small letter and then use capital letters afterwards. Ang importante lang po, naiintindihan yung Ninyo. Okay, also enter your answers on the answer sheet because I've seen students write this way. Parang yan, hindi mo lang kung saan nakasulat. Just make sure to center your answer. <clears throat> Sir, can I change my answers? Yes, of course. That's why you're using a pencil. However, make sure you erase cleanly because anything written on the answer sheet will be considered part of the answer. So, buray nyo ng tama. Or, if you're in a hurry, Okay, o kunwari ito yung sagot nyo, gusto nyo palitan. Gusto nyo gawing dog instead of cat. Okay, what you can do is, okay, just cross out your original answer like that. Okay, and then isulat nyo lang po yung bagong answer ninyo. Uh, most of the time, that's what I do. I don't bother uh, erasing the original answer. Pwede naman eh, just draw one line. Okay. No, no need to draw multiple lights. One bar across your original answer uh, is accepted. It's already good enough. Okay? So anyway, tuloy po natin. What else do you need to know? Sir, can I write in cursive? Of course. Okay, you can write in print if you want. You can write in cursive if you want. No problem. As long as it's understandable, pwede pwede. What else? Some general advice, no? Please don't leave blanks. One of the worst things that you can do in the IELTS test, okay, would be 
to leave a blank test, then you will have a 0% chance <coughs> of getting the point. Okay? Wag na wag kayo mag ng blank. If you have to guess, guess. As long as you're following instructions and as long as the answer is realistic. Okay? Then there's a possibility that you might get it. O kaya, instead of guessing, look at the text. Okay, and then wala ka ng oras. Just write down the first, you know, the first word that you see. Kung appropriate siya. Just write it there. At least you have a 1% chance. 1% is better than 0%. And be careful about skipping spaces because this happened to me during my first test. Okay? So I skipped number 7. And then yung sabot po sa number 8, napunta sa number 7. So all of my answers moved up. So what happened? I was already in number when I realized, oh, okay, there seems to be something wrong with my answers. Ah, patay. Mali yung numbering. Umakyat pala lahat. Okay, what's my excuse? <laughs> well, bago pala ako nagtuturo nun, it shouldn't be an excuse actually. However, maybe I was under a lot of pressure, so I didn't notice it. So I had to, so what did I do? I erased everything and moved them down. Okay, so... Um, if you want to leave a blank, maybe you can draw something there, maybe like an asterisk or a star, okay, or some sort of symbol, just to remind yourself that you need to do that. Okay. Uh, here's a good question. Thanks for asking, D. Any color po ba ink ng pen? No. Only pencils are allowed. Okay. Well, you can go D, eh? Pencils only. So, wag kayo mag ng, ano, okay, magdadala ng ball pen. Ipapailan yan sa labas. They're just gonna ask you to leave them out. So, sayang lang. And in fact, even if you don't bring anything sa totoo lang, pwede kayo magdala. Bibigyan nila kayo ng lapis. Okay? Meron silang those pretty British council or pretty pencils. Okay? Um, sabi ni Jal, you must bring two pieces of Mongol number two pencil and eraser. Oh, pwede naman, of course. Kailangan magdala. Okay? Pero just in case na nakalimutan nyo, Okay, masyadong magpa-stress kasi may nakahanda naman. Do you think you're the only, you're the first person to, you know, to forget about your pencils? Hindi naman. Ako, okay, ilan ba ang dinadala ko? I usually bring like seven. <laughs> Bakit? Nagagamit ko bala ito. Usually, I just get to use like two of them. Okay? So, pwede na rin yung two. Um, I just make sure that all of my pencils are sharpened already. Okay? Kailangan sharpened na. Uh, because I don't want to waste my time sharpening during the test. Kailangan na ka-ready na dyan. Kailangan po bang Mongol ang um, brand? No, it can be any brand as long as the lead is number two. Or sometimes with other brands, they don't call it number two. They call it H. Okay? So any brand, number two or HP. Bawal po ang may stickers. Some people do that. No? They put the name stickers on the pencils. Unfortunately, if you do that, they're just going to ask you to remove those. Kung ayaw nyo, ipapaiwan yan sa batay nyo. So just the naked pencil. Wala na pang ilalagay dyan. How about erasers? <coughs> erasers? Ah, just make sure your pencil has an eraser. That's it. Why? If you bring an, a separate eraser, okay, check pa nila yan. Kailangan walang balot. Kailangan walang train. Okay. Uh, nothing should be hidden. Kailangan uh, uh, wala nakasulat. So, uh, no, it's just uh, additional trouble. Okay. Sir, can I bring a sharpener? If you want to, you should bring the smallest. Okay. The smallest sharpener that you can find. Okay. But if you bring the big sharpeners, you know, those fancy sharpeners, hindi naman papayagan yan. Magsasayang lang kayo ng effort. Better yet, better yet, just make sure that your pencils are sharpened already. Diba? Para hindi yan ang design oras nyo. Okay? Taka-sharpen na. May sharpen nyo na agad. Alright? And um, some people might be curious. Um, so is it better in the computer delivered test or the paper-based test? It depends on you. Okay? What I like about the paper-based test is you can actually write on the test paper. You can underline, you can encircle if you want, you can number the paragraphs, you can draw arrows, which is uh, difficult to do in the computer delivered test. In fact, let me show you samples now <clears throat> so you can make a good decision. Most people prefer to do the reading test on paper. Ako personally, aning, aning preference ko? Wala, I don't have a preference. I, I've done both. Okay, okay lang naman. Pareho naman yung score na nakuha ko. So, 
no complaints. Anyway, here's a sample of the uh, of an academic reading test. Uh, do you want the link, guys? Para magawa niyo on your own. Because I, I won't answer all of it. Okay, here you go. I'm going to give you the link. Um, this is actually very close to the actual test. Kaya ito yung favorito. This is my favorite sample test. There are others. I've seen quite a few, but so far, this is the best one I've seen. So here you go. You're welcome. Sige po, open nyo na and then save it, uh, bookmark it on your browser so you can go, go back to it. No problem. Pamigay na natin lahat yan. Okay. Total, I don't make my money in the Philippines anymore, so... <laughs> Libre lang yan sa mga kapwa ko Filipino. Sige lang. <laughs> So anyway, nasa na ako. Um, yeah, this is a sample of a reading test. I hope you can see it clearly. Kung hindi, guys, you can zoom in. No? You can zoom in your screen. You can do that. Walang problema. Zoom has context. Nasa taas po. It says zoom. Okay? So, the questions, sorry, the questions will be on the right side of the screen and then the text will always be on the left. Sir, can I highlight? Let's test. Okay? Natin, uh, let's highlight the second sentence. So you highlight whatever you want to highlight. Right click. Ayun. Meron siyang highlight. At dilawan yung highlight. Ako bakit kaya dilawan? Bati wala. Okay? Kasi masakit sa mata. Okay, so yellow na lang. So highlight. Right click. Okay. You can even make notes if you want. Personally, I never use this. It's just a fancy addition para lang masabing high tech siya. Okay, you can write notes, so blah, 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 kung gusto nyo. But you know what? For me, it's just a waste of time. Bakit pa? Okay, why, why, why do you need to, to make notes on this one? Uh, at, most, at most, for me, I use the highlight. That's it. I don't do, no, I don't do anything else. Okay? Bakit? It's, it takes, uh, it will take time away from reading. Magsusunod ka pa ng notes, highlighting na lang. So in this uh, situation, I really like the paper-based test. It's easier to make markets much faster for old people like me. Okay? Am I old? No, I'm, uh, I'm only 40. Okay, so <laughs> I may look old, but I'm not that old yet. Okay? For people my age, prefer preference namin, papil sana. But maybe a lot of people... A lot of you are probably in their, what, late 20s or early 30s, diba? O, di ko lang sa inyo. You might be more academically inclined. Okay? Try nyo lang. So, what do I suggest? Why don't you try both before making a decision? Well, kasi malay nyo. Oh, yeah. People who are not taking like a simam mouth. Totoo yan. <laughs> so, why don't you try both? So, since you already have this practice test. Okay? So, bukan din nyo. See if you're comfortable with it. And then you can try a paper-based test. You can print those materials. Uh, okay, and then try it out. Um, yun nga. Uh, but in the end, for me, if you know your stuff, it won't matter whether you're taking paper-based or computer-based. You're still going to get a very nice passing score on the first try. Yes. First try. <laughs> Let's have a... Let's have a quick tour of this. So, madali lang yung computer delivered this. You just need to click. If you want to change your answer, pwede, yan. Mapapalitan yung sagot ninyo. And what I like is, there's this uh, area here at the bottom, okay, which indicates if you've answered a certain number or not. So, nasagot ko na yung number, ano, number one. Punta tayo sa number two. Ayan, no? So, if you've answered it, okay, the numbers at the bottom will turn white. And there's going to be an underline. Okay. So, yun po siya. Meron siyang marker. Turn right, and then underline. If you're done, you can move forward. Forward lang po. Ayan. Okay. Or if you want, you can click directly on the number. Ayan. Sa ilalim. So, there are many ways to navigate. Sir, can I go back to a certain number? Okay. Somebody's asking uh, Sorry, how did you do the highlight? I'm going to show you now. So, uh, you can you select the things that you want to highlight to us? Peter Peterson. And 
right click and then click highlight. Yeah. Okay. Click and go. Here, you choose the words you want to highlight. Right click and then highlight. Yeah. Very easy. Ganon then, if you want to make notes, you choose yeah, the text that you want to highlight. Right click and then notes. But personally, I never notes. I don't see the point. All right. Other questions? Ito. Oh, somebody is asking about the writing test. Okay, might as well. Sabutin ko na rin. Uh, sa writing po ba, will, will you type or compare to the work test? Oh, yeah, of course. Just remember this. Just remember this. Um, you're taking the paper-based test. You're going to write the paper. And therefore, when you practice, you should also practice on paper. Ganun ba? Okay? If you're taking the computer delivered test, okay, you use ano, you use Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Google Docs, kung ano man yung ginagamit ninyo. Okay. And yeah, of course, you're gonna type. Which do I prefer? Pagdating sa writing, I prefer the computer delivered test. Why? I have Dell handwriting. Okay, and it takes me longer. Um, I remember first time I took the computer delivered test in 2019. <laughs> I got I got over excited. I wrote 270 words for task one and 400 plus words. Because I'm busy, so I'm faster at typing than than at writing by hand. So so from that mean, sinulat. That was also my lowest. Okay. Pag sobrang haba nung ako, hindi rin maganda. Okay. Optimum talaga is like for task one, 180 more or less, and then for two, one na mga 280. Okay, if you write plus 50, oh, kumare, task 1, umabot kayo ng plus 50, to, uh, the score you should have. Task 2, diba? 2, you know? If you write like 3, you know, plus 50, diba? The score you should be down. So it's not, it's not suggested. Okay, na masyadong maraming susunod nyo. So yes, D, uh, you will be on the keyboard if you're taking the computer. Okay, and just to reiterate my advice, okay, you practice situations, conditions you'll be encountering during the test. So if you're taking the computer test, you practice on paper-based test, you practice on paper. And please use a pencil. Right? Just keep those questions. I love questions. Don't think that they're interrupting me. Problem is. Okay, let's continue. What about the bang classing test? Let's take a look at other tests here. And get a lot. It's mostly just choosing the answer and then clicking on it. Okay. Ah, here we go. Here's a different type of test. Sabi niya dito, put the notes, write one word, text at each gap. So what do you need to do? You need to type. Okay. Ay, nakawaps. Pwede ba yun? Okay. Oh, pwede naman. It doesn't matter. Okay. You can use proper capitalization if you want. Now you can uppercase, lowercase, alter. Plus the answer is clear and understandable. Well, people are asking me about... Okay, oh, sige. <laughs> Dapat natin yung topic ko. Paano pag below the word count? Tumari, task one, below one. Um, the word's missing. Okay, that's what you're saying. Mas maraming words ang nawawala, mas maraming score din. Ano siya? Uh, if thing, uh, what, below 50 words naman yung may, that's a minus one for that achievement. It's more than 50, 100, minus, minus two for that achievement. And if it's 100, then it's three. You don't want that idea. Okay, make sure na abot po kayo kasi masaklap na babagsak ka dahil kulang ka lang ng words na <clears throat> sayang naman po, okay? So, at the time that you can say, it's your problem. Sa totoo lang, you know, if you can properly, baka kulang pa yung 270-280 sa inyo. Okay? It's a matter of preparation. Mm. So, this is a interest. So, sir, can we combine? 
actually be IELTS doesn't allow it yet. If they allow it, no, I would have taken it. Kaso, that's a logistical nightmare. Okay, imagine switching candidates from your base to computer deliver. In you have to a choice. Are you paper for base or computer deliver? Okay. Overall, I like the computer deliver test better because in the listening, it headphones and you can adjust your own volume. Okay, that's what I like. In, uh, I, I, I don't like computer but for reading. For writing, again, mas gusto ko siya. Why? <clears throat> because it has it has a word counter. Okay, it counts the words. So in, in the paper-based test for writing, <laughs> para kong tanga, <laughs> magbibilang ako. Okay, but it's a computer delivery. It will count. Alright? All the problem, Jenny. Um, guys, uh, don't send me a DM. Maybe uh, just share questions with everyone. Make sure people will benefit from your questions. Promise, kahit na hindi siya yung topic natin, wala akong problema dyan. Okay? People will benefit from your questions. So, okay? So, let's go back to this one, the reading test. Um, Just type your answer. Now, I tried something happening during the test. Uh, I tried to copy the text and then paste it. Ito. Yan. Copy paste. Pero ang weird. Okay? Because when I when I reviewed it, hindi siya na-detect nung ano, hindi siya na-detect nung program. Okay? So, I suggest that you just uh, type your program. Okay? Yung iba kasi magaling sa copy paste. Iba? Copy paste. Yan. Ginagawa na o. Some you just drag it. It works in the practice test, but in the actual test, hindi siya nag-work, hindi siya detectable. So you might you might get a lower score just because hindi kayo nag-type. So ano ha, advance yan ha, just type it. Okay? Otherwise, you might run into problems. Okay? And then there are tests like this. Ito matching paragraphs. It's high tech. You just drag sir, like that was there you go. Okay, let's have a look at terms. Okay. Yeah. Drag and drop shell. Drag and drop, drag and drop. High tech. So guys, make sure that you practice no, before you have your test. Just drag and drop, multiple choice or what? Or uh, fill in the blanks. Okay, so tama na yan. Let's stop that one. Let's have a look now at the paper-based test. Um, okay, here we go. So this is an academic test. I'm going to zoom out first. Okay, maybe if I show you so here we go. Okay, in the actual test, meron pong ano yan, there's going to be a cover sheet. Okay, so there's going to be a first bit structure. Ah, we need to take a look at that now. Okay, <clears throat> they're going to explain it to you in detail naman during the test. And this is the first passage, the flavor of pleasure. So you see a long here, and a half. Okay. Sa GT kasi, ano eh? Sa GT, yung mga readings nila, they're usually, what, half a page or sometimes one page. Kaya hindi sila lumalampas. Okay, for, it's normal to have a page and a half or even two pages. Okay, oh, uh, someone is asking, one word answer lang pa po, po yung fill in the blanks. Uh, pwede po bang may excess words? You know what, the, I did that uh, the first time I took the test. Okay, my very first that's uh, practice test, not the actual practice. My very first practice, I got a score. Bakit? I did not pay attention to instructions. Okay, so <laughs> instructions, no words, I caught that. And then I started giving like alternative answers. 
<coughs> yung mga ginagawa natin na rich, okay, hindi acceptable tayo. Okay, walang play safe. If they tell you one word, it's one word. Sir, according, yeah, I tried answering it this way and that way. It's impossible to answer it with one word. It means that your answer is wrong. Because the IELTS will never give you instructions that will, uh, that will make it impossible for you to answer. Ano po, very sensitive sila dyan. Naaral nila yan. Follow action. Sometimes it's one word. Sometimes it's two words. Tulad nito, take a look at this. Fill in the blanks now. Complete the notes below. Choose no more than two words. So, pending one word, two words. Yeah. Usually, ano, maximum na dyan yung three words and or a number. Okay, they rarely, I've never seen them say uh, no four words maximum na po yung ano. No four words. And I've done probably hundreds of these reading bills already. Okay. So, ano pa bang kailangan nyo malaman? Um, so, first text, the flavor of pleasure. And second text, dawn of the robots. So, this is about what technology. Hey, meron siyang ano, matching paragraph ratings. Ako, hindi ko type. Tapos, third passage, it's about psychology. Is it your choice? Uh, it's choice or <coughs> is it really? Okay. So, Analogies for for this test. Una -una, you don't need to do it in order. For the longest time, you, your brains have been trained to do things in number one, number two, and number four. Number it doesn't apply in the IELTS test. Okay? Kunwari, okay, wala kang, di mo type itong top ever pleasure. And you're very knowledgeable about this topic, itong search it really, or nabasa mo na. You can start with passage 3 if you want. There's no particular order. Kung gusto nyo magsimula sa passage 2, pwede. If you want to answer which one last, pwede. What I always tingnan nyo muna yung you see here, you do it first. You see something for the first time, you do it last. Okay, kasi malaki na So, no need to answer it in order. Now, we have a question here. If two words, two or one word, pero nandun sasagot po ninyo yung sumobra lang po, mamali na po ba ninyo? <coughs> Oo. Okay. It will be, it will be considered wrong because answers in the IELTS test, they're usually exact. Okay? Huwag kayong ano, huwag kayong magpapasobra. Just answer. Okay? Just answer the minimum you'll be fine. Okay. <clears throat> Wag niyong gagawin yan. Yung ano yun eh, college style mga university students ginagawa yan. No? Hindi siya obra dito sa no, science exam. Alright? Now, um, after choosing which passage you'll be you'll be answering first. Okay? Tignan niyo muna yung questions. Right? You should never read the text. Never read the text. You don't know what you're looking for. Okay. Um, in normal in normal schooling, you study a text for a few days. Tapos meron diba, to test your knowledge. Pero uh, hindi naman ito schooling eh. Okay, it's a standardized test. So they're already providing you with the questions. Isipin niyo, what if you go back to elementary school or or high school and then uh for uh, ibibigay sa inyo yung questions even before the test starts. Tapos nandiyan din yung book. O di ba mas madali? Okay? If you think about it, it's actually an easier setup kung university years. Walang ano eh, walang reference. Reference nasa... So, take applications first. Right? So that you know what to underline, what to highlight, what to... By the way, I... Uh, Recommend, recommend numbering the paragraphs. Kunwari, hindi nila ni number. Just like this text. Wala siya ano, di ba? Walang number. Then you do it yourself. Let me demonstrate. Left side or on the left side or on the right side, it's your choice. 
Okay, it makes you know looking for answers much easier. Kapag meron siyang ganito, para malit na bagay pero na ipon yung mga ito. Alright, please do this. You don't number the bag. Let's continue. Okay, so <clears throat> what I want to do now is to go through, okay, some of the these items, and then I'm gonna ask you to answer. Then I'll discuss it with you, para maki so that you also have an idea how how good you are, okay, or how much work you still need to do. I'm gonna look at the favorite tests, okay, favorito ng lahat, okay, the most feared test. Unahin natin yung Oh, yeah, and everybody is afraid of this one. They find it difficult to do the yung proof. Sino sa inyo? Okay, gustong gusto yung test na yan. Who loves this test? True, false, not even. <laughs> so, wala, no? Nobody likes it. Yeah, whenever I ask people, just before their test. So, ano yung ano? Ano yung test na ayaw na ayaw? Sir, yung ano? Yung pong true false na given, mahirap. Uh, madali lang yung true, pero yung, yung nahirapan kami. So, let's take a look at this. Um, you answer the statement agrees with on the text. In the text, uh, you answer false if the statement contradicts the information. Okay, and then finally, ito yung, ito yung tricky. There's no information for this. So, kaya, minsan hindi minsan, minsan, minsan partial. Partial. So, I'm gonna copy these questions and I'm gonna put them in the chat box so you can access them. Let me send it to everyone in the meeting. Yeah. Um, Sir Manny, can we share this on F? Can we do that? Pwede ba natin share yan sa mga FB viewers natin? Kasi I think they don't see the, the chat box, di ba? Mm -hmm. Hello? Okay, sige. <clears throat> Let me find another way. So instead of that, okay, I'll, I'll leave the questions on screen. Go. And then I'm just going to open another one. Wait up. Mm. Ayun. All right. The questions will be here at the bottom. And then I will show you the text. We share. Okay, so here's our text po dito sa dapat sa taas ng screen. Okay, and then the questions will be here at the bottom. So, one of them, archaeologists realize that the boat has been damaged on purpose. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you to read a little bit. So, the answer is somewhere here in these two paragraphs. I'm gonna give you a minute, all right, to find the answer for. Okay? Sabihin niyo sa akin, is it true, false, or not given? You can just type your answer in. Okay? Number six. Archaeologists realize that the boat has been damaged in purpose. Is that true, false, or not given? You have one minute.
Okay, guys. <coughs> Everyone is saying true. Oh, wala bang ano dyan? Wala bang false? Wala bang not given? Mm -hmm. Okay, correct answer is true. Ano yung ano, ano, yung, ano yung mga strategies na, ano, na ginamit nila dyan? Nila, no? uh, first of all, don't expect them to use the same words in the text. And sa questions po. So I, I'm gonna highlight a few things. Sabi niya dito, on purpose. Alright. So technique, hanapin niyo yung para. Sabi niya, it's in this paragraph. The answer is here. It says, this boat was not a wreck. So hindi siya wreck. Okay? It has been deliberately discarded, dismantled, and broken. So what's your keyword here? Okay? Ano pa? It's been ritually killed. Parte siya ng, ano, parte siya ng uh, ritual. Okay? So, yun po. Ang ginagawa lang nila yan. Pinaparaphrase nila. They, they leave you usually, you know, at least two clues. If you expect them to use the same words in the text, and, and wala, mga sister kayo dyan. You're gonna be confused. Okay? Baka maban baka ma score, hindi naman zero pala. Sige, ah, sige na nating ban score four. Which is too low for for you guys because you're, you know, your profession as you went to school. Shadow mga babae. Okay? So that's the, that's one technique, no? Hanapin yung paraphrase. Next strategy. Another thing that you can do to assure yourself of a higher score is this. Okay? Anticipation. Anticipate yung mga tricks na gagamitin nila. Let's take a look at number seven. Okay? Identify the keywords. Ang sabi niya initially, so, keyword na, na important yan. Only the technology, actually, malagay natin yung buong sentence. Eh? Only the technological aspects of the boat were examined initially. So, what's the correct answer for this? Let's look at the text. Sabi niya dito, a narrower technological perspective. But news about the Dover boat reach a broad audience. Ah, Nakakalito, no? Ano ba siya? Is it true or given? I expect many people to get confused with this one. Uh-huh. Just type your answer in the chat box. If you want me to go back to uh, the first part of the sentence, we can do that. We can do that. No problem. So here's the first part. Oh. You know what? Let me let me do this for you, para hindi kayo hindi kayo may rapa. I'm going to copy the whole text. No? Yeah. So let's see the whole thing. There you go. And then the next part. See that one. Okay. <clears throat> and there's the whole text on the screen. And let's enlarge. <laughs> oh, 
challenging. True, false, or not needed? <clears throat> okay, some people are saying not given. How about the others? How about how about Mama Jessa? Mam Jessa Ara, ano sa palagay mo? Okay, answers are coming in. Some are saying false, false, false. Hmm? <clears throat> Guys, ano lang ha? You should not be taking more than 90 seconds or a minute and a half for one item. Kung sa palagay nyo, hindi nyo kayang sagutin ng 90 seconds yung isang number, you move on, you skip it. You answer the easy questions first. <clears throat> okay, it doesn't make sense to spend too much time on one number because the attempts they're all worth one point. So, wag masyado magka. Okay. <clears throat> Puro false, no? Correct answer is false. Okay, congratulations. Yeah. Meron namang information eh. So, okay. Sir, nasan yung ano? Nasan yung mga, uh, nasan yung mga keywords niya? I'm gonna show you. So, initially, okay, pwede niyong i-dugtong dito yan. They found it. Sila yung nakahanap, so yun yung initial contact. Okay? That's the first time that they uh, made contact with each other. Tapos sabi niya, ano bang inaral nito mga mainstream archaeologists na to? They focus on the cultural context. Okay? So if you say that they focus only on the technical aspects, mali yan. Kasi nga yung archaeologists na, na okay, they studied the cultural context. Eh, yes, sir, bakit dito? At dito sa second sentence, sabi niya, at the time, ancient boats were often considered only from a narrower technological perspective. Oo, at that time, usually, no? Ancient boats. But, you know, it's not this specific. Iba yung sitwasyon niya. Okay? Another, uh, you know, that they're trying to trick you. Masyadong obvious yung, ano, technological. Tignan mo, they use exactly the same word here. <clears throat> most of the time, if they do that, remember this, huh? most of the time if they do that, they're trying to think that the answer is true. Bakit ka? Kasi ako nung kagalit, maglalatch on dun sa ano eh. It will latch on to that word. Oy, technological, technological, true. No. If it's this obvious, mag-ingat po kayo. Okay, if they're making it that obvious, it means there's some sort of trick. It's too good to be true. Right? So that's another one. Okay, next. Next number, number eight. Sabi niya, uh, archaeologists went back to the site to try and find the missing northern end of the boat. Usually, naman sunod sunod yan eh. Once you found one. So did they try to find the northern end? Tignan natin. It's probably the next paragraph. Yeah, it's in this paragraph. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to give you a minute. Okay. I'm going to give you a minute to read and try to answer. So is it true? False? Or not give it? One minute.
Mm -hmm. uh, or, uh, which number <clears throat> which number are you talking about? Because only. Ah, number seven. Yeah. Okay, guys, just type your answer if you want to risk it, if you want to try. <laughs> type your answers for number eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, halos not given yung ano ah. Eh. Halos not given yung sinasagot nyo. Mm. Okay, sige. Uh, before answering number eight, may pahabog na question lang from one of the people at the meeting. Sabi niya, sa number seven daw, merong only. You know, initially, only the technological aspects of the boat were examined. So it's not a... It's um, in my experience, most of the time, when you have words, uh, you know, that mean 100% or 0%, no, tulad ng all, cool, only, ano pa, never, always, forever, yung mga extreme, dulo-dulo, most of the time, <clears throat> most of the time, the answer is false. Most of the time, right, hindi ko sinabing always, pero in my experience, siguro mga 80%. So if you're in a hurry, and you don't have a deeper analysis. Kailangan mo nang sumagot kasi 10 seconds na lang. Okay? Tapos may nakita kayong oh, okay, never, always, call, mga ganyan. Isagot nyo na lang false. If you don't have any time remaining, if you are forced to guess. Kung may time kayo, it's better to analyze. Okay? So minsan may kasama nga na eh. May kasama ang swerte yung test. Alright? Ah, uh, ang pressure mag-isip sir na imagine ko sa exam, baka di ko pumanap yung right part ng essay for the end. If you're worried about the pressure, I have some very nice strategies for that. Okay? So ganito po. Here's what you do. Um, it's best to practice. Okay? Uh, uh, same time ng actual test ninyo. Okay? For instance, if you're taking the test, okay, uh, in the morning, like the uh, per base test, no, morning shot, the reading test is at 10, diba? So the best time to practice is at 10. Pwede naman, ano, pwede naman Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but it doesn't need to be on a Saturday, pero yung time slot mas maganda ang ng oras. If you're taking the computer delivered test, okay, computer delivered that was afternoon session kayo. The best time to practice writing would be at around 3. Okay, mga 3 or 3.30 in your best time. Yan. Bakit? Kasi that's the, that's the time that you... So that's one way that you can alleviate the pressure. Okay? Secondly, yung... Okay, matas na pressure when you're unfamiliar with what you're doing. Okay? So what's the best thing to do para mabawas yung pressure na yan? Get used to the situation. Parang basketball lang yan, no? Kaya pong or any other sport. The more you do it, the slower it seems. The more familiar it is, the less pressure. Okay? So, ang gawin nyo, eh, di yan, no? Get your, get your phone. Get your phone. Mag-set kayo ng alarm. Lagay nyo sa alarm nyo, reading. O kaya, reading nyo. And then, set it like uh, MWF or TTHS. Okay, please use technology no, as a reminder. So, ganun po. It's just familiarization and then you practice with type pressure. Okay? And that way, mababawas yung, mababawas yung kaba ninyo. Yeah, because that's a big, big, big barrier to overcome. Okay? It's an important barrier to overcome. Okay, so anong sagot dito? Let's see. Uh, number eight question is archaeology. It's like to try and find the missing northern end of the boat. So, no, bumalik ba sila o oh, hindi? Ang sabi dito, 
The possibility of returning to Dover to search for the boat's unexcavated northern end was explored. Okay? So it wasn't excavated, no? They just explored the possibility. So is that enough of a basis na in explore your possibility? Hindi, hindi malinaw yun. Next. Practical and financial difficulties were insurmountable and there was no guarantee that the timbers had survived the previous decade in the change environment. insurmountable. Mount Bundok. To surmount, maakyat yung bundok. Okay, to, be, to reach the top of the mountain, sur, mount in French, sur means on. Okay? Sur. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> opposite, ang ibig sabihin ng insurmountable, hindi talaga kaya. Kapasan, imposible yung masolusyon. So when they say that practical and financial difficulties were impossible, budget, hindi sila makakuha ng tao, hindi nila mahanapan ng oras. So all of these considerations, hindi nila kinaya. Okay? And there was no guarantee na nandun pa yung kahoy. Kahoy, timber. Okay? So ginawa ba nila? Hindi. They just explored the possibility, but the challenges cannot be surmounted. So ang tamang sagot po sa ay Force. Okay. How about number nine? Evidence found in 2004 suggested that the Bronze Age boat had been used for trade. So, anong keyword dito? 2004. So, this is easy, but it may not be. Eh. Okay. So, another, you know, that's the next paragraph of that. So, I'm going to give you a minute, guys. Okay. Read and answer. That part. Okay, true, false, not even. Okay, so na mention naman yung 2004. So, <clears throat> is it true that the uh, age code has been used for trade? Tingnan natin ha. Detailed proposals to reconstruct the in 2004. Okay, na mention yung year. All right. Uh, archaeological evidence was beginning to suggest a Bronze Age community straddling the channel, brought together by the sea rather than separated by it. Okay, uh, in a region today divided by languages and borders, archaeology and duty hmm, to inform the general public about their common cultural heritage. So, walang na mention dun about trade. Okay, Chaka, don't expect them to use the word trade. No? Usually, papalitan rin ng commerce, okay, at least malang trading. So, wala. Next paragraph. The boat project began in England, but it was conceived from the start as a European 
collaboration. Reconstruction was only part of a scheme that would include a major exhibition and an extensive educational and outreach program. Discussions began in early 2005. Ah, wala na. Kasi 2005 na. Wala pa rin man mentioned, di ba? So, no information was given. Uh, some of the questions were mentioned, pero yung mismong topic niya, walang sinabi. So, the answer is not given. Now, Ah, huh? Straddling. No. To straddle means ano, to bridge. Okay? Sige, pwedeng to spread. But, but meron bang sinabing commodities dito? Hmm. Suggest a Bronze Age community straddling the channel. Na, ibig sabihin, okay, yung Bronze Age communities, nakapalibot sila. They were all around the channel, but it didn't mention specifically that it was about trade. Okay? Stranding. Tama yung definition. Pwede siyang to spread. Pero yung commodities, na it's not, ano, it's not included there. Okay? So, correct answer is not given. Kasi, yung ano eh, kulang yung information. Okay? So, either hindi sinabi o kaya partial yung information. Okay? Ang sagot doon ay not given. This sample actually, this one is not a very difficult sample. I've seen more difficult ones. Okay. Uh, questions so far? Remember, you can ask anytime. Let's take a look at the other favorite. Uh, sir, you. Yung question ko, focus lagi, not the passage. Yeah, well, I, I guess so. No, kasi the passage is just there to be your reference material. Pero pag mali yung sinabi mo, kapagina, di ba? So yeah, in that sense, <clears throat> mas importante yung ano na uh, inuuna nyo talaga, pinaprioritize ninyo yung tanong. Okay, nasan ba yun? Ay, ito, this one. Okay, let me zoom in. in. Uh, yan, ito. Naku, uh, feedback din ng students ko dito. Nahirapan daw sa lasana sa so, <laughs> matching paragraph headings. I usually do this test class because it's quite time consuming. Okay? It takes uh, more time compared to the other types of tests. Kasi... Pag ang tinatanong lang sa inyo, what place, or what's the date, or what's the amount, what's the name of the person, ay eh, madali lang nga natin yun sa text. Paragraph headings. They want you to understand the whole thing, the whole paragraph. Para yun ang title. Kumbaga. Okay? So let's take a look at the instructions. It says, the text of the following pages has six paragraphs, A to F, A to F, so anim lang sila. Choose the correct heading for each paragraph from the list of headings below. One, Roman numeral one to Roman numeral nine. Ang paragraphs natin, anim lang. Pero yung pinagpipilian, nine. Okay, uh, expect, uh, expect them to include some choices just to confuse you. Mga pampalito. Pag masyadong obvious, mali yan. If they're using exactly you know, the same words in the text, same words in the text and in the question, it's probably a trick. So watch out for those. Uh, most of the time, the correct answer is the paraphrased answer. Okay. So let's take a look at these headings muna. Tignan niyo muna yung headings bago niyo basahin yung text. Para hindi sayang yung oras niyo. Headings first. Tackling the issue using a different approach. Okay. How do you know? How do you check if your answer is correct? Oh, number one. Using a different approach. Okay, nasan yung approach? What was the approach mentioned there? They should describe it. Okay, number two, a significant improvement on the last time. Uh, don't expect to see the word significant and improvement in the text. Okay, tsaka yung last time. In this na last time, sasabihin nila that 10 years ago, 2 years ago, compared to 2 years ago, compared or from the previous attempt. Yeah, nakaparaphrase yan. Three, how robots can save lives. 
four examples of robots at work. Um, if you pick number four, kailangan may specific na examples yan. Okay? Five, not what it seemed to be. Six, why time scales are impossible to predict. Seven, the reason why robots rarely move. Eight, following the pattern of an earlier development. Uy, parang, parang ano, connected yung eight, tsaka yung two. Okay? Yan yung mga naglalaban dyan, eight and two. And number two, number nine, the ethical issues of robotics. So, tingnan natin yung paragraph A. Okay, di ka siya. So, let me try to fit it first. Okay, there you go. And this is a uh, reading test. So, natin it. Okay. Robots. Yeah. Here we go. So here's the passage. Okay. Here's the paragraph on top. And then at the bottom of the screen are the choices. Let's be bottom. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm gonna give you uh, a minute to answer. So you've got one minute. Okay, answers are coming in. Some are saying it's four. Some are saying it's one. Okay, four ule. Gonna wait for a few more answers. Actually, mahirap tong ano? Mahirap tong passage one. Sorry, paragraph one. A lot of candidates have a problem with this. Other answers? Four, seven, and four. Seven. The reason why robots were made. I know it took me a bit of time to answer this. Oh, sige, is I say natin siya, no? So some people answered number one. Tackling the issue using a different approach. Okay. Um, so what is that approach? A Land Rover approach. Ah, sabi ko na eh. Sabi ko. So I saw this word there. Um, Michael, was this your, no? Was this your basis? Your approach, chai, your approach? This one. Hey, usually pag gano, <clears throat> Michael pala, not Michael. Okay? Usually pag may nakita kang word, 
na halos kamukha na or exacto na kamukha. It's it's not they're just trying to trick you. Okay, into thinking na yan yung tamang sagot. Oh, kasi naki, ano yan eh, maglalats yung mata natin to familiar words. Okay? So, I think it's not number one. Tsaka, what's the issue ba? What was the problem mentioned here? Okay? Uh, issue. Problem. Sabi niya, normally, drivers get out, uh, gesticulate, gesture, uh, exchange insurance details, and then drive off, but not on this occasion. So, on this occasion, wala namang problema. Walang drivers naman, di ba? No one got out of the car because there were no humans inside it. So there's not really a problem here. Secondly, what was the approach mentioned? Ang teknik lang dito, hanap kayo ng sino ni paraphrasing ng approach. If you don't see any, it means it's probably not the correct answer. Okay? So I wouldn't say one. Four. Some people are saying four, di ba? Pwede ba yung four? Uh... Examples of robots at work. Okay. Guys, examples. Is that singular or plural? Pag sinabi mong examples, isa lang ba yan o marami? Ah, marami, di ba? It's more than one. Ang problema, ang minention lang dito is just one example. So, hindi pwede only one. <clears throat> if you say examples, there should be more than one. Yung letter S na yan. Ang daming nagkakahabali dyan. Okay? It's a very important letter. So I wouldn't say four because, you know, uh, they only gave one example. Ang sabi ng four examples. Okay. Next. Some people are answering three. Pwede ba yung three? Ano ba yung three? How robots can save human lives. Uh -huh, sabi dito, crack of fenders and the sound of paintwork being scraped. The kind of minor, minor, minor mishap. It's not an accident, it's a minor mishap that occurs on roads thousands of times every day. <clears throat> yung number three, para maging tama yan, kailangan may makita kayong synonym ng save human lives. Okay, ang sabi dito, it's a mishap, it occurs on roads thousands of times. Pero may namamatay ba? May minention ba namamatay dyan? Wala kasi it's minor, it's not a major mishap, it's not a major accident. Okay? So actually, how do they save life? It's mentioned parang sinabi. Pero pag tinignan mo yung words pa isa-isa, wala kang makikita. That's why it's a reading test. It's not an opinion. Um... Nakakatawa lang eh, the past few years, in social, lalo na nung elections and social media, puro ex. Uh, ano to? Respect my opinion, bullshit yung naririnig ko eh. Pero hindi yun applicable sa ano eh, sa IELTS, saka sa ano, mga universities. Okay? Hindi pwede, kailangan. Oh, parang sa court of law, sasabihin mo sa judge, hindi po, respect my opinion. Hindi, you have to base it on evidence. And if you take a look, wala ala eh, parang impressions lang yung pinanggagalingan nyo eh. I'm telling you, the way to approach the reading test is through vocabulary. It's true words. May sinunin ba yung same? Wala? Mali yun. May paraphrase ba siya? Wala? Mali yun. Uh, one, three, four. Some people are saying uh, seven. Okay, what seven? The reason why robots rarely move. Huh? Hmm. So what's the reason? Ano ba yung dahilan? Ba't ni Raw gumagalaw yung mga robots? Pero di ba, ano? Ang diniscuss dito, yung mga kotse, di ba gumagalaw yung mga kotse? Ayun, no? Over approach a Chevy Tahoe estate car and then it stopped at the curb. So they're actually moving. Parang seven would be the total opposite of this kasi they're talking about move vehicles, about moving robots. Let's have number five then. Five. Not what it seemed to be. Okay? Not what it seemed to be. I think that's the correct answer. Bakit? Tignan nyo, ha? Normally, normally, drivers get out, gesticulate, exchange insurance videos, and then drive off. Normally, yan yung nangyari. 
Okay? But not on this occasion. No one got on the car. Bakit? Kasi this was actually an urban challenge. It's not... Oh, sabi niya, at first sight, it looked like a typical suburban road accident. Noong una raw, parang aksidente, di ba? Pero hindi. It was actually an urban challenge. It was a competition. So, akala niyo aksident, hindi po siya aksident. So, correct answer is number five. Okay? Mahirap yun. <laughs> Sa akin ito, di ba? That's why people don't like uh, don't like this test because of these things. O, tignan natin yung pangalawa. So, after answering, kung nga, sure ka sa sagot mo na number five talaga, what you should do is cross out the choice. O, sure ka sa number five, tanggalin mo na. So that when you look at the others, hindi ka na mali ito. Okay? Let's look at the second paragraph. Mm -hmm. So guys, again, I'll give you a minute and then you can type your answer here. Um, I think this would be the last item for today. Okay, then I will start my closing. So you talk. One minute. Okay, you can type your answers in the chat box. Kung sure na kayo. Hmm. Okay, two answers. Two people are saying it's number four. Okay.
Okay, to help you out, okay, to uh, get to the right answer, I want you to focus on this language. Yeah, this part here at the bottom. Okay. Mostly, yan yung pagbabasihan yan. Going down in keywords, oh. It's striking. Yeah. Well, it's startling that they could perform like that. Some are saying it's eight. Some are saying it's four. Ah, sorry, four. Ah, oh, tama, four nga. <laughs> this is official Cambridge Guide to IELTS test too, by the way. Okay. <clears throat> you know the correct Okay. Is I say that and how about for examples of robots at work? Okay. Siguro ano, okay. Para mas maganda. Hanapin nga natin kung saan bagay yung examples of robots at work. What's that word? Meron ba? Naman cortex. Alam nyo, ito, dito bagay yung robots at work, dito sa F. Kung merong samples ng ano, ah, samples ng robots at work. Sabi niya dito, uh, some humanoid machines direct customers to their seats. Okay? In the University of Tokyo, they unveiled a kitchen android that could wash dishes, pour tea, and make a few limited meals. Okay? Ano pa ba? Uh, uh, home helpers for the sick and the elderly. That's another one. Tapos, ano pa? Hmm? Yeah, dito siya bagay. Oh, kasi it, it mentions examples of ano, specific work or specific jobs. Okay, so hindi bagay yung forge. And how about uh, some people answered eight? What's eight? Following the pattern of an earlier development. That was my theory. Okay, pero is it right? Following the pattern of an earlier development. So what was the earlier development? And paano siya nag-follow ng ano, pattern? Kung titignan mo, do you see any keywords or paraphrasing or synonyms ng follow? Okay, tsaka earlier development. Hmm. Ang nakita ko dyan, parang gulat na gulat yung writer eh. The idea that machines could perform to such standards is startling. You know why? Because just three years earlier, at the previous race, okay, all the robot competitors either crashed or ceased before getting near the finish line. Pero ngayon, nakompleto na lahat sila. Nakompleto na yung ruta yun. His answer to this is number two. Nice mouth. Nice data. Okay? Correct answer would be number two. Bakit? Kasi the previous, eh, the previous race, pumalpak lahat, pero this time, okay, after just three years, biglang lahat sila natapos na and they all finished. Okay? So that's number, uh, what? That's Roman numeral number two. A significant improvement on the last time. Okay. <clears throat> Um, let me close out this session. No? So final tips and uh, tricks to sign you. Okay. So guys, can do lang, no? <clears throat> the first thing that you need to do is to improve okay, your reading okay, and to improve your vocabulary. If you want to get a high score in everything, listening, reading, writing, speaking, magbasa kayo ng marami, schedule it. Okay, 15 minutes a day. That's better than three hours or once a week, diba? Okay, gawin yung araw-araw. And then, make sure that you study those terms that you encounter. And alin ninyo? I'm pretty sure uh, about 10% of the words that you see that in your mind in or some of the expressions and familiar sa inyo. Okay, that's the first thing. Secondly, 
how many how many drills do you do in a week and do you revisit them tinitingnan niyo ba ulit kasi in my experience i've been teaching for over 16 years people waste these materials eh sinasayang lang nila okay how many times should you be reading this passage these reading passages at no first time when you do the drill second time when you check your answer oh, but but pala yung sagot ko bakit number 2 yung tamang sagot aralin niyo ulit read the text and then the third time maybe on your day off okay wag niyo nang basahin yung question just read the text think of it as a magazine article think imagine that you're just reading what uh, readers digest o kaya type magazine o kaya na geo okay a lot of people don't maximize this reading. So, gamitin niyo po ng gusto. Tapos, aralin yung mga words na din niyo atang. Okay? Ano ba? If you're not seeing any improvement, I hope you're recording your scores. Dapat meron kayong record sheet. Ha? I hope you're recording your scores. Gawa kayo ng report card niyo. And then, if you're not seeing any significant improvements, maybe it's worth it going one-on-one ano, -on -one with a teacher. Kasi that we're really proud of in our company is mas mataas po yung focus namin sa one-on-one. -on -one. For us, mas important yung one-on-one -on -one kesa sa group class. Okay? <clears throat> so, in fact, ito yung, ano, ito yung mga reasons why you should choose us. Okay? So, for you kasi, maybe it's not enough. Kung band 5 lang or band 6 lang ang target mo, okay. Pero if you're trying to get 7 or more, then you need somebody experienced to help you out. Okay, what's nice about our company? You have access to teachers. You have access to me. I'm the head teacher. In some companies kasi, wow, perfect score na yung, ano, yung head teacher. Pero hindi mo naman siya makausap. Okay, makakausap mo lang siya. Anong sabi sa akin ng trans? 15 minutes lang daw. So, nagmamadali. Okay. Guys, ang mga review namin, ang mga one-on-one -on -one tutorials namin, 55 minutes each. Hindi po 15, hindi 20 minutes. Okay, 50 to 55 minutes ang isang session sa amin ng one-on-one. -on -one. Okay? Our students are guaranteed eight sessions. So, you have access to our group classes. Tapos, meron kayong eight sessions. You can choose the time and the date and topic. Kayong dalawa lang po ng teacher. So, hindi kami factory approach. We, you know, we depend on your strengths and on your weaknesses. Okay? We also have a secret FT page where we uh, post all of our video lectures, members only. Okay. Plus, daily guidance din doon. Okay? Yun po, uh, you can trust us because we've been recognized by British Council and by IDP Australia since 2010 po. Nananalo na kami ng award sa kanila. We were actually top three nationwide, which I don't know how we did that during the pandemic. Okay? Usually, top four, top five lang kami. Okay? But we were also number one in Pampanga. Kahit na merong malalaking review center dito, Meron na ata ano dito eh. Sino ba to? Yung nakalimutan ko ay mga basta yung malalaking centers, nag number 1 pa rin kami. Okay, word of mouth lang po 'yan. Ayun po, uh, that's from IDP. Okay, and if you enroll in our online IELTS or weekly review, hingi lang po kayo ng discount sa niyo lang sa ano, doon sa ating manager. Um, ma'am chat, pakibigay nga yung link sa chat box. If you want to, you know, these questions. Okay? Ito po yung OET page namin. I teach OET. I actually like it better than IELTS. <laughs> Mas gusto ko siya. <laughs> and then here's our main page po. Okay? World English Reviews. Yeah. Send us a message. We're gonna help you out. And if you want us to call, okay, yan po yung mga contact numbers namin. Okay? Pwede kayong mag-text. Sabihin nyo, patawag po. Gusto kong mag-inquire. <clears throat> and then our managers will call you. Okay? So, final ano, final questions po to close out this session. May gusto pa kayong malaman anything about the IELTS? Aha. Uh -huh. So, kung wala po, I hope that I was able to teach you a few tricks in the short you know, span of time that I had with you. Kasi two hours lang, medyo maikli. Okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it for me. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. As for me, my speaking class pa ako bukas. I see some of my students in this session. I'm moving uh, tomorrow's session to 1.30 po. Hindi na siya, you know, 1.30 in the afternoon. Kasi may gagawin pa ako ng alas dos na madaling araw. <laughs> Sorry po. <laughs> Ma'am Jessa.
1.30. Sir, uh, sir, thank you very much. That's it for me. Hello. Hello, sir. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. Hello. We're, I'm back again. <laughs> thank you so much for that wonderful lecture, sir. We appreciate you. We are friends with were people. Love you guys so much. Um, Okay, so if anybody doesn't have any questions, we can close the session officially, officially, all right? So um, on behalf of the other admins, thank you so much, Sir Lee and Mamcha. Uh, this, is, this is us signing off. Bye for now, see you next time.